live from Los Angeles, somewhere in a warehouse, it is the 2020 Game of the Year nominee roundup. Welcome to uh, the Jamaican broadcast. <laughs> well, in Jamaica, doing things like we've never seen before. These things include coconuts, <laughs> limes, and all the rhymes you've got. This is racist. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I like coconuts, limes, and rhymes. But why do Jamaicans only like limes and coconuts? I never said that. Yeah, um, I just no. said this is a Jamaican podcast. Uh, I would I give so much just for you guys to hear the garbage music that played when I touched the keyboard when Elo was doing that. <laughs> I hope was it. I was like a, like a steel drum. <clears throat> Feeling that I am. Uh, how's everyone doing? We made it to we made it to November. <sighs> that was a year's topic. not over it's, yet, man. It's for another, it's for another topic. This is about video games. We're yeah, happy things. Know. We're just gonna talk about the games of the year or shake off a little rest. This is like a little test run to see if um, we can do some content every now and then for my hooses. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's the holidays. Give the people a little what they want. Oh, I'm yeah, here I with yeah down uh, below. Yeah. I don't, well, this is, you're down below on mine, so I don't know who the hell you're pointing at. Yeah. I'm hey, the Brady Bunch. I'm here with uh, me. Okay, yeah. Two, is, two, I'm pointing to. I'm here with Eloy. Why is that? There we go. Over there is. <laughs> Eloy. <laughs> and above me is. Uh, Colin, hi. There it is. Easy. Hey, guys. Okay, let's just get this over with. <laughs> A man, a man a named start. Jeff, Ke- man named Jeff Keely. He just won't let anything die. We have <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six games up for game of the year, and uh, these include The Last of Us Part Two by Naughty Dog, Animal Crossing: New Horizons, Nintendo, Hades, Super Giant Games, No Biasness, Ghost of Tsushima, Sucker Punch, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, game of 20 years in the making, um, Square Enix, Doom Eternal, uh, Bethesda, id Software, Bethesda is Xbox is like, like starting player now. So um, yeah, let's it's keep that in mind. Also, I don't know. I'm just going to say it all right. I think FF7 Remake is going to win just because it took so long for it to come out. And um, I don't know. That's, that's, this is once again. This is fun because I think it's a little fucked up because we didn't really play any of these. Some of us played more than the others, but um, just from yeah. only playing Hades, I think FF7 Remake, just because everyone loves it so much. It's uh, it's definitely the nostalgic favorite, I think. Yeah, I, I and especially nostalgia as you sells, said, nostalgia sells. Well, and it and in, and it. But it overhauled the combat system, and the graphics were amazing, and it got a lot of praise. So I, I could see that. That would be some vindication for how long that thing has been in the making. I, I, I don't know, man. It, I think this is, I think this is going to be one of the closer years because there's so many good games that you could put out there that might have had a chance to be on this list. But like the ones that are on there, they're all really, really good in their own way or have something to kind of say. Like, it's, like, The Last of Us was one of the most technical games I've ever seen, like, as far as, like, a like just graphics-wise, it was one of the prettiest games I'd ever seen. New Horizons became, like, the the addicting game of everybody, like, for, for especially for quarantine days and Doom also. And then Doom was just so much fun. Like, I don't know, man. It, this is a hard one. I really have no idea. Yeah, it seems win. like all these games are just so different from each other, and that's kind of just, like which one was the most popular and which one was the most well received type thing cuz i only played what well, i only played i only played the last of us part 2 but everybody played animal crossing at one point you know and then everybody you know played doom at one point as well 
So I don't know. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen and how it's going to all play out because I'm going to play it on my PS5 that I'll never get. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, what about... It's a whole what did you guys topic. think of The Last of Us 2 then? Because you guys played it in the middle of its highly well-received reception when it came out. But... <laughs> Let's, let's let's avoid that subject. That could be a that could be a whole other fucking podcast. Sorry, so effing what podcast. You, what did you guys think? You, I'll let you. You have the floor. It was good. It was fun. High pitched voice. I don't like that. Blood. <laughs> Zombies. Makes me nervous. Clickers. Mm. Yeah. I mean, um, what are you asking if I'll ever play it again? Out of all the games you actually, yeah, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> not to be not to be uh, that blunt about it, but it was a wonderful game. It was a wonderful game to play. Um, everything about it was great. the The new fighting system or whatever combat was um, just so much better than the first one. The, the the killing of the zombies, in particular, even just adding humans into the mix of what Ellie fights um, gave a different dynamic um, as well. I mean, some of my favorite fight scenes were just against humans and it's felt so visceral, especially with just um, adding in simple things like, you know, um, axes and, you know, things like that. So um, as far as graphics go, it was wonderful. Um, I, uh, I really enjoyed that game. If I would ever play it again, honestly, maybe in a few years, because it was such an experience. It was very um, taxing, you know, to play. It was very emotionally taxing to play. So um, it's it's like I'm not going to watch Titanic all the time type thing, you know, just because it's a masterpiece. Like, yeah. That thing. Are you saying it's a masterpiece? It's up there. I think it is up there. But like that's doesn't mean that like, you know, I want to play it every time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I understand. It's not it's not some type of Animal Crossing game or something that's easy or just like fun and you know, as 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 like Doom or something like that. That's not as carefree. Heavy for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not as I think it more, it's more the emotional part that's really, really up. I mean, every, not everybody wants to cry all you know day, you know. I guess I don't know. I may be different, but I mean, there's, uh, there's. I'm sure there's, there's people that are like, oh, I gotta get my daily crying. Yeah, kudos to you. Play The Last of Us too every, <laughs> every day. Do that. Do that. <laughs> Damn do that. Um that game is uh that game is definitely great. I think it was the perfect ending to The Last of Us. Like I guess if the if it was already fine ending the way it did on the first game, but I think this added a really cool dimension to see what Ellie was going to be like. And obviously we have the you know the the controversy, but I thought that was what's I mean, this controversy? It, I don't even know about this. Oh Jesus! Let's not. Or get we into can it. We're not getting or we into can, it. Or we can skip it. No, we're, we, it's too long. It's simply just too long, and it's too negative. Anyway, um, okay. it, I think. Well, so spoilers if you haven't played the game yet. I think. I think Joel dying. It was about fucking time. Like I, I was surprised he got away with what he did for as long as he did. Like you can't just go and kill a whole group of people. Uh, in the fireflies, and then just be like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna live a peaceful life." With Especially in that setting, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no way. So, and like, the the like, everyone's like, "Oh yeah, you killed her favorite." Like, whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'm now I'm ranting on it. Anyway, the game is great. I think, I think some of the scenes and how visceral some of the kills and the world felt was really, it made everything that much more impactful. Immersive. Um, mm -hmm. It, it didn't really change up the game too much. The gameplay, like it kind of stuck with what it what it knew, but it, it made it a little more difficult with the people and 
um obviously some of the the clickers and all that stuff all the zombies got insane but it, it's i don't know man i'm you know i'm gonna say that that that's not my game of the year i give it like a nine because it, it's just it's that's probably the same grade i'm gonna give demon souls and and maybe this isn't fair but i think i think a game of the year really gets more credence when it does something really new and making really like making the best out of something that's been there is awesome but i think when a game either takes something and makes it this like really really polished or it, it just it turns something and just adds kind of a new element to it i think it gets extra credit but when you when you just take something where it's like all right we just tweaked it like slightly i don't know i'm not I, i'm just not w willing to give um the last of us like the the game of the year nod just yet i, I it's great but i wouldn't give it a game of the year like it's it's just too samey for me personally i think what we're looking for is something that i think had a cultural touch something that is entertaining uh low barrier to entry um i felt like that might have been the barrier of entry is playing the first one mm -hmm. yeah the I'm first one to... seemed like i had that impact for mm -hmm. sure because even I, I didn't even play it, but seeing like the first cutscene, because I got the gist of it watching either you guys play or watching Adam play, um, if that hit. But if I didn't play it, like, you know, a bunch of people did. I mean, I think that's why maybe it felt so harsh, because a lot of people like marathon through the first one to uh, catch up for the second one to release. And I was like, I don't know, maybe that might have and most stop, might have emotionally. <laughs> done too much to them unlike animal crossing which was the savior of 20s early 2020 at least it got people through a lot of stuff easy to play you got to switch play it where you ever you want to whether at home wherever you're quarantining at so i feel like this is like this is a close second for me in the list of like six games i i i could see New Horizons winning as well, just because it sold on, like an unreal amount of games, and people are still playing it. And in some of the pictures that I see of people remaking scenes in Disney movies or live action TV shows, or like I'm not kidding, dude. There was one. There was one where somebody had put uh, they dressed up like Cinderella. I'm not kidding, and they had like a pumpkin carriage, and they had a person wow. on the carriage. Yeah, and they were like in front of it, and it was like the same. Like they like took a screenshot from Cinderella and it was like the same thing. So like That's people do some crazy stuff with it. Yeah. And then like there's, I saw this whole video on Reddit of uh, like, I guess somebody because his, I think it was like a, a girlfriend, like they were quarantined and he like proposed to her on Animal Crossing. And it was like this uh -huh. whole thing. Like it was really, it was actually really cute. Like it was, if you're going to do it in a video game, it was probably the coolest way you could do it. So I, I like, I got to give a ton of credit to that game for, how it's brought people together and it's done a lot of cool things yeah, on the other hand cultural from, impact oh yeah for sure on the other hand for me personally it's boring as shit so uh you were into <laughs> it you I was for, for you. like two weeks and then at some point i was like this just feels like i'm doing chores and, <laughs> and i couldn't i just i couldn't i couldn't stick i tried but that's also another game where if you don't have like a lot of people to share it with it's kind of a game where it's like okay well i can do my stuff at my island and then at some point that's just gonna end so it's like you, you just need to have people and then also it's like there's stuff that's kind of blocked off until later in the game like you can't cross rivers until way later in the game and then you can't go up cliffs until way later in the game it's like and all of that has like different ingredients and flowers and fruits and trees and so it's like and it's like oh it's covetous but you can't get it until like you have to just keep playing and especially a game where it's like you have to wait you can only do a certain amount of things in a day, like a, like a real time, real day. So you just have to sit there and go, okay, I did my five things. I, guard, I, I watered my plants. I talked to the owl, gave him fossils or whatever. All right, I go to sleep, like real sleep. And then I have to do the same thing tomorrow. And it's only for like 15 minutes. And I'm like, I don't know. Like it's kind of, it's something to kind of keep you entertained, but it's like, I don't know. It just, it feels like you're making your bed every morning as opposed to like a video game, which is, I don't know. But anyway, I think it is gonna. I think it's that's definitely. I can see second or first. What do you think, Mister Loy Loy? Oh, with um, Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't. I didn't play it, but 
I mean, just from everybody's reaction playing it, it was just kind of like, for me personally, I'm not really into those type of games. It kind of reminds me of Sims in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Between, I think second for me would probably be between Doom or, or Animal Crossing just because of the impact that each of those games had. So, okay. oh, I don't great. know. I didn't get to play Doom. I still need to. Oh, I will. It's like an, uh, not an acid trip. It's just like steroids, adrenaline. An adrenaline shot. Yeah, I'm packed into if one. If you're having a really bad day and you that's were super angry, sign. that's exactly what you want to play. Oh my God, dude. I, I had... I remember uh, I had a particularly bad day a couple of weeks ago and I just got the DLC for doom. And I was like, yes, <laughs> it's just oh, damn it, damn that game. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh my God. <laughs> so on your blinders fun. and just rage out yeah, oh, for however long. It's so good. Cause like the, I was ta- we've talked about it before. Like, there's so many things you can do. Like you have so many guns and each gun is like two different like mods on it. And then you get like a freeze bomb, a grenade, a flamethrower, a chainsaw. Bomb. Yeah, you get all, and you can like interchange it like that. So you can do stuff where you're like, like you can light a guy on fire or like you can freeze a dude, then light him on fire and then chainsaw him. And it'll get this like giant combination of like giving you ammo and like, like shield and health. And like knowing all your enemies' weaknesses and like kind of moving fast, you can just like do all these crazy combos with with it's just yeah, that game is, that game. Mm-hmm. it's it's nonstop, like nonstop action. And the platforming sections are like fun enough. And you like let's say you die, like you 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 spawn back fast enough where it's like super easy where you don't get frustrated. Like the game is it's just fun. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so and it doesn't care, like it doesn't try to take itself seriously. It's just like just shoot everything, just shoot all the things. It's great. <laughs> wonderful i think i think that's why it might not win game of the year it's too good not like in a bad way but like it's it's so good it's, it's bad it's like from what i heard that it was a little too easy also possibly for people that went from this the first one to this one they said that you'd have to really worry about ammo too much i don't know isn't that what the game is though isn't that like what it's uh to be from yeah. what i remember in the first one it was more like you need to make sure that you're going to combo the right monsters because i never really ran out of ammo but i was like okay i need to make sure that i do this finisher to get that ammo type so when i do that then uh-huh. it's like but it still flows it still flows really well especially when you get the double jump it was shit fucking, fucking hits and so when I heard that it was like slightly easier, I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Because the first one that got a little tough at points. That I was like, okay, I really need to focus and like buckle down. And yeah. Kill with purpose. That's something yeah. I don't want to say out loud, but uh, yeah. That's what I remember too. That one was really, really fun. Oh, man. You guys got to play this. It's. It it might be like I think I think it's easier in the sense of like like you said it flows better it's easier to get ammo but there are enemies in this one that I think that are I think one or two of them might be new I can't remember they might all be remade I don't ref- I don't fucking remember but some of them I don't remember seeing in the like really old John Romero like PC Doom games but um, there's Marauders in that game and if you get you guys know what I'm, if you if you seen a Marauder. In that game, there. You describe it to me. I don't know the monsters by name. Uh, it's, it's like it's like the only enemy in the game that actually feels like you're kind of playing, like you're dancing, like in a Dark Souls game. Because mm-hmm. every other demon sort of just like, all right, I'm big and I'm giant, I'm gonna come at you. This guy's like actually kind of your size, and he's buff as shit, and then he's got like an axe and a shield, and he moves extremely fast. And his only opening is when he like tries to go on an axe swipe, and this little green flash comes up. Other than that, you just can't hurt him. Where every other enemy in the game you can just kind of like run around him and shoot oh, him whatever you want. Yeah. So this guy, you got to be like really like on your game and he can, and he can throw lasers and like a dog that comes after you. And, and, and like, and especially in the DLC, they'll just be like, Hey, here's three of them. Have fun. Like, and you're just like, ah! like, and he is by far the hardest enemy in the, in the game. Like there's some that are tough, 
but like because they have some gimmicks but he's like the 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 hardest like straight up i have to just i can't screw around with this type of fight and yeah. it, it gets hard man that game gets that game gets brutal even and i only played it on normal that game that game gets freaking brutal sometimes i like yeah you can play it you would love it sounds, like, it sounds like what's hell. the highest level on that insane rager mode what's what's the <laughs> hell razor yeah. It's it's something <laughs> like like you would Demon, die in one hit kind of thing. Demon days. I think it's nightmare. Nightmare. Oh, it is. It might yeah. be nightmare. Ultra Apocalypse. nightmare. I think. Yeah. Comet yeah. hitting the earth. Apocalypse. Comet hitting the earth. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of hell, Hades. Oh yeah, you gotta talk. You have to talk about that. What is? We haven't played. What is this? It. this is, what is he's, this? He's the super giant master. This man. So it's a game that. People will recommend, but people will probably not play unless they remember to like download it or get it. It's easy, not easily, because it was, uh, I don't know. You got the Jim Sterlings and you got the, there are people kind of funny that played it and did a couple rounds like game of the year, blah, blah, blah. blah. So, <laughs> and I feel like I can't talk about it just out of pure biasness, pure like, unholy biasness for super giant games and every single game to come out with i think i've done something close to review for or like wanted to do one mm -hmm. so it's just that is seeing a company bring all the little elements of hey bastion in 2008 hey transistor in like 2012 2010 hey that one of the game pyre in like 2017 also awesome. they make it into a roguelike which recently became super popular with games like Enter the Gungeon or like Risk of Rain, where it's always randomized, that tells but you. it's from a studio that can tell a coherent story and also really good battle system. And I haven't beat it yet. I've only gone to the second area. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, it's still like it's a really it's a really good challenge, also and also baller soundtrack. So I could I could see a slight chance, but if I had to guess. Maybe Animal Crossing first, um, Last of Us second, maybe Hades third, my top three. Is Hades like um, an indie game? Yeah. Okay. Super Giants indie. They're, they're very well known. They're like one of the better known indie devs, but then, yeah, it's indie. Yeah, yeah. I want to oh. say 90% of the voice acting was done by writers. And Which is cool. Yeah, yeah, I think you mentioned that the other day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Sick. So I was like, oh. I would pee rainbows if they, if they win. I don't know if that means. <laughs> no one better to act than the person who knows the motivation behind the speaker. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that, makes, that makes a lot of sense. Wait, so what are the... Oh, okay, so the other one is... We have, what, the Final Fantasy VII remake, right? Yeah. Anyone yeah, play I mean, that? I did. I think you're the only one. Wait, didn't you? No, you, you never played the remake. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, but he's played. He knows what Final Fantasy VII is, but that's a way I different know. game. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna no, wait for. I remember. I remember. I'm gonna wait for all three parts to come out. There's three Smart. other. There was two. Mm, it's two other two parts plus this one. There's something. How old are we gonna be when the three parts come out? Thirty. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly don't know. Forty-three. It upset. It upsets me. It makes me angry because it's like, oh, hey, you know, please enjoy everything we're doing. And then Tatsuya Nomura, who's like writing, and it's like, I have something amazing planned for Kingdom Hearts in 2025. And it's like, yeah. And I, I apparently he just, I didn't play it, so spoilers. But I read the ending. Mm -hmm. So Eloy, Sora is like Luke Skywalker. Who looks like as a Padme? No, L Leia, right? Luke yeah, Skywalker, like Leia. Okay, Luke Skywalker, like Leia. All this BS crap happened. Imagine, you know, Star Wars. It's hey, we gotta go here. Planet destroyed. Hey, we gotta go over here. Planet destroyed. Who's how, who's good? Who's bad? It's pretty much Disney's version of Star Wars. Even though they could have had a Star Wars planet, but that's besides the point. Um, so. Sora and his Leia, Kyrie, were about to kiss, and they disappeared. That's Where'd right. That did happen. Yeah, that's true. And any any opportunity of loose ends they were gone. Oh, totally. He could have just tied it all up. So now he wants to do something new with the story that was left open ended, and he still has to direct Final Fantasy VII Part Two. 
So I actually am crazy. Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to get dead last in the standings just because I remember the reception for it. What the hell? Yeah. This dude That's, is going to drive himself nuts. Yeah, he just created so many, so many problems for himself. Oh, he added ghosts lot. in the Seven Remake. To It's kind of like a a mobile des, Deus Ex Machina thing in Final Fantasy Seven Remake, mm-hmm. where they would, scene for scene, things would happen from the original in the remake. But these I'm so sorry. These ghosts would show up and change the events of what would happen. So it's the, so it's like Scrooge, and they're like, and so Barrett's like, oh, what are these spirits flying around us? And so like when someone's supposed to die, they won't. And it's like, oh, paradox. I almost yelled at like two o'clock in the morning. I was watching someone stream. I was like, it doesn't need time. Don't add paradoxes. Please don't. It's already a weird story as it is about mommy issues. Just stop. Just please stop. <laughs> but here we are. And it's up for game of the year. Why, why is... Okay. Now it zooms yelling us. We have 10 minutes left. Um, Ghost? Ghost? Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's... Well, I do want to play Final Fantasy VII. Before we get to that, I do want to I do want to play... I still need to finish Final Fantasy VII. I don't know. I feel like I need I to know remake. so much about it. So much about the franchise. Why wouldn't they just make Final Fantasy XV, sixteen? What are they on? They are. And it's going to be like Game of Thrones, I think. We didn't talk about... Oh, yeah. That, that looks cool. Work. We did talk about Ghost of Tsushima. No. Fergie no. Ferg? You, you played a couple hours of it, am I right? <laughs> Only a few. Oh! Just, just, just a couple. Oh my! I played. That's my number one. That's that. I think for for just personally, but I also think it'll win. I I think, I think it hits all the boxes. I want you to give me ten seconds. Ten, nine, two minutes or less. Why is Ghost of Tsushima game of the year? And it's good. Go. Ghost of Tsushima takes what open world games have tried to streamline in the past, and it finally does it correctly it makes traveling easy with the horse you don't run into things it's easy to find things as you go along with the golden bird and sound cues that are really good at just telling you hey this is really close this is really close plus uh outfits that also help you find things so the tedium of finding things in an open world is basically completely eliminated in that game beside the traveling with the horse which is still fun to do um the combat is everything that I wanted in Sekiro that wasn't just constant parrying where I can actually have fun and do what I want as far as can I be a samurai? Do I want to just go balls to the wall and kill everybody in this camp just by doing a standoff? Or do I want to like sneak in, use snoke, bo- snoke, bo- snoke bombs from Star Wars? Uh, smoke bombs. Okay. Uh, do I want to use like kunai? What do I want to use? It, like it's it's and the story is great enough like it's 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 ha- it's not ham-fisted like it is flushed out but it's it's not a story that anybody hasn't seen or heard of before um but the characters are all really good and interesting and on top of it they're all actually representative of the country that they're representing in japan and it's fucking beautiful the photo mode oh my it's one of the most beautiful games with music and and just getting to do what you want as far as like getting the photo mode to go. It's just, ah, it's, it's everything you could want in an open world game. There's so many customizables. The story's good enough and it's, and the voice acting's great. And now I still need to play the multiplayer, which is apparently great. So that's the other part. Like is, is it's a, it's, is a story based game with a really good multiplayer. And that's really hard to do. I, I think that's especially in this day and age. Is this the game we need to play multiplayer? Yes. Is this, I, I want to play it. Is this our transition from Destiny? There's Maybe. a raid dungeon, apparently. A what? There's a raid yes. dungeon. Oh, I just just we haven't even done one. Don't don't fret. It's probably gonna be dope because it's like swords and not guns. I mean and arrows. And just, arrows. You know, because I need to find six other people who are on Six. the same page it's, as it's me. Four, I think it's four people. Oh, Raid Dungeon. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, Eli. So we can get making it Mason. He's got Tell a ghost Tsushima. Why is Destiny 2 your game of the year? <laughs> it's not. What I is? dropped that shit like a bad habit. Well, so what is? We have six minutes left. What's your game of 2020? My game of the year is, is, is Ghost of Tsushima. But you didn't, you didn't play, play it? it? 
You play, you said it everything so convincingly that I'm gonna. No, I'm asking you, you what your it. what's your personal game of the year that you liked this year? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Everything that I played this year wasn't really like, ooh, I just you know, it didn't really just strike a chord for me. That was like I, because I don't know. My terms of game of year is I can play it all the time, every time. It's easy and it's fun, and I think not it's... many complications to it. Oh, of course, it's gonna be like difficulties, but mm-hmm. I don't know. No. What about you? Final Fantasy X. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Not like what well, you could play over and over again. Even yeah, Game of the Year. Wait, Final Fantasy X came out? Yeah, it came out in 2002. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> he just yeah. played it this year. I'm just okay. saying. Again. What did you, I'm asking, what did you like playing this year, I guess? Oh, um... Destiny. <laughs> I mean, you can't fight it. You can't Monopoly. Uh, <laughs> fuck that <laughs> <laughs> yeah it have to be destiny destiny was my animal crossing the whisper zero hour i don't know that was the pain a, and, how, and how, how would you toil. describe how would you describe the whisper to those who wouldn't have never played it to the newcomers in destiny too that missed it actually have you ever been to the dentist for a root canal, and they didn't get it out for the first get it out the first time? <laughs> you had to keep going over and over and over again so they could get it, you know, the correct way. That's that. <laughs> and each time you have to beat a certain amount of, <laughs> you have to beat a clock. You know, so he has to do it in a certain amount of time where he has to start all over again. <laughs> like a fast, shitty that root is, canal is what you're saying. That is the yeah. sickest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, I didn't get in 20 minutes. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what about all the blood that I just lost? Too bad. Just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just... That lunch, yeah. okay. Yeah. Gotta get that falling guillotine <laughs> drill. <sighs> oh, <Nerf. laughs> Oh my god. Well, you look like you miss it a lot. You miss it. I don't. I don't. I'm on the new horizons. So I'm playing more combat again. Oh yeah. I'm gonna I'm I know. I just need something <laughs> to, to to feel my need, you know. I got some glitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. Oh, my god. There's other things I want to play and it's like it's I've taken off the blinders that Destiny did. They did it to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. I didn't say is this, is this the shit shit on Destiny podcast? Go ahead. You got, got three no. minutes. Get yeah. the soft box no. out. Get it out. Get, get it out. You got three minutes. Game. Destiny is a great game. Get it. Can't say? Uh-huh. You I said, can't I said all I do. What do you think about Beyond Light? I said, I said all What do you think about Beyond Light? Whisper. <laughs> um... I didn't buy Fine. it. Fine. We got jammed. We got screwed on the <laughs> weapons that we got told to get. Whatever. I'll say it. Eloy is a nice guy. I'm pissed. Hey, I said, I said. <laughs> I'm pissed. You ever, I mean, you didn't struggle for the Pretty. window. You didn't struggle for the window. He still had to, he still he put his time to. into it. He yeah, he put his but time into it. I got halfway. You have to get 3,000 group kills. And then all of a sudden, get the whisper. People are like, "Hey, you should get the whisper because it'll help you in other missions." I was like, "Okay." He's like, "Hold up, we need the catalyst." Okay, they're gonna put this in a bank vault forever, so you have two months to do it. We were up. Well, it was fun, but it it was stressful because it was like on a timer. It was weird. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't like games taking away things. Just add it, and there's no timer. But whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Maple Story 2021. 3D for the no, PS5. No, 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 no. Oh, PS5. PS5 Maple Story. Is Sorry, that your dream? PS5. That'd be nasty. You guys would never see me again. That would Imagine be if, fun. I, if I won the lottery and then they put Maple Story on the PS5. Fuck. Oh, my no. Lord. There you go. Oh, my God. Because he's on his own dude. island. Demon Souls is so good. I, I do want to try um, uh, Ghosts. I want to check that out and uh, really good. Check out the the multiplayer. You'll so like it. Yeah, you'll like. Yeah, I know Eloy. I know you're gonna like. Like for sure, I know you'll like that game. Toby, I know you'll so, like that uh, game too. I saw you the trailer. Like I saw the trailer. 
That's good. I'm telling you. And then, oh man. Do I look like a floating head? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You just oh, can't yeah. get your arm. Yeah, when your arm gets in the way at the bottom, it gets. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah you're like that. You're like that Zelda boss. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have one eye though. Oh God! Wow. Ah! That's hey, wow. <laughs> oh my God. Still right. like Demon Souls. Signing out. Awesome. All right, guys. Bye, y'all. See you later. Thanks for listening. Hasta luego. All right. Austin.